case code. Uh, bar. Yeah, yeah. Bunch of new stuff. I don't recognize her, so she's probably someone new. Maybe. Hopefully. And fashion fun. Okay. So yeah, let's keep going, shall we? Ah, but first, but first, but first. I'll cut all of this out, don't worry. Okay, let's go for the newest case. Um, the Battle of Hastings. Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, okay, so it's his wife. Okay, 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 because you always say her the wife. Despite a good Wednesday bank holiday, Inspector Hastings is in a flat. It's his wife's birthday. Yeah. If cartoons and TVs, TV shows showed me what happens when a man forgets his wife's birthday, yeah. At best, you'll sleep on the couch. At worst, um, you're screwed. Not literally. <laughs> oh yeah, I changed the cat's outfit. Now she kind of reminds me of... I want to say vampire? I don't know why, but it just gives vampire vibes a costume. Well, now I've finished my book. I think it's time for a nice cup of tea. Oh yeah, I just saw Cheryl there. I also changed his outfit for it to be a little more akin to his name. Oh, but I just had some tea not long ago, didn't I? In that case, perhaps a siesta. Just a little idea. Instead of bone idle, how about sorting out the dog's breakfast out of a desk? Oh no, Cheryl, I'm afraid I couldn't possibly, not today. You couldn't possibly, because you couldn't possibly be bothered, you mean. No, no, Cheryl, that's not it. Miss Slater has a very good reason for not tidying up. Really? Come on then, Pinstripes, lay it on me. I am actually kind of curious. Because it's Good Wednesday. Good Wednesday? Yes, it's one of, uh, of the annual bank holidays we enjoy in London. I wonder if that's also true. Oh yes, that is a very good reason. Of course. <sighs> good Wednesday was a very ancient story behind it, you know. Oh, it has a very ancient story behind it, you know. Many, many years ago, right here in the capital, Saint Goodwin appeared in the to the king of the land. Your majesty, your subjects are exhausted because they are working too hard. Do you not see them suffering? The king looked around the, uh, around the land and saw that the saint was right. Hmm. Maybe the king wasn't that much of a douche, but honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if he just said no. Hmm. Feeling ashamed that he failed to notice the subject's suffering, the king made the, the day a holiday for, from that year forward, and he named it, after, named it for the saint. Obviously, nobody knows if that's really what happened, but anyway, today is a bank holiday, and no one's allowed to work. Okay, I kind of understand national holidays and all that, no one's supposed to work, except some places still have to work, like, you know, hospitals. I mean, some communities sort of, but not all of them, or they have shorter times, because people. If there is an emergency happen, you can't just stop everything. You can't stop the, the entire world for you, that. That's right. As a Londoner, it would be a terrible fax pass. Or fox pass. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. To do any work at all today. These traditions are very important, you know. You're such a modern forward-thinking woman. Yet you still hold on, hold the cus customs dear. Your inspiration, miss. Mm. I think she's more just, you know, lazy. You mean she's a procrastinator? Yeah, that too. And anyway, Pinstripes, if, they, if this is a holiday, what are you doing in the office? Oh, I just came back, just came to see Miss Slater. I'm not working, don't worry. Now then, Miss, would you like another cup of tea? Yeah, not working at all. This isn't work, Cheryl. Looking after Miss Slater is the chore, it's my reason to talk. Jesus Christ. Oh, so you're gonna pay your salary, you're right. 
What the actual hell? Oh my god. Being here isn't work for you. You don't pay him? Well, he said he didn't mind. He said to be my assistant anyway. Absolutely, I don't mind at all. This is simply a spiffing job. Did I just slide down on the road and let her drive over? Is that where the pinstripes come from? Oh, we have a visitor. I wonder who it could be on Goodwin Godwin's day. Ah, you're here, cat. Thank goodness I found you. I'm. I was ready to throw in the towel if your office was shit as well. Oh dear, Inspector, you seem very flustered. Is this is it a case? Something grisly, perhaps? Where well, did I come close? In all my years being a detective, I've never come across a situation that's stickier than this than this one. Whoa. Golly, whatever's happened, Inspector? It sounds like we need to brace ourselves. All right, Inspector, fill us in. Yes, well, it's um delicate, you see. I I don't like to think about it, to be honest. The thing is, it's about house birthday today. Sorry. Yes, um, what does it have to do with the case, Inspector? It only happens once a year, see, and um, we ought to put it on that I forgot. I haven't got a present or a cake or anything. I wouldn't be surprised if she gave me the... the... Evo? I have no idea what... What is this word supposed to be? I have no idea. It's supposed to be ha Evo? Hmm. Unless I can do something to fix this. So I need you, cat. I need those little gray cells of yours to get me out of this mess. Inspector! <laughs> The Battle of Hastings. Eh, it's appropriate. I was anticipating a case uh, the likes of which I've never seen before. And you give me a marriage rescue operation? Not your cup of tea? Would it be your show? Talk about being used as a dog's body. Hi, Tritness. Nobody likes to be used as a dog's body, do they? How did this happen, Inspector? How did you manage to forget such an important day? I've got no one to blame but myself, or myself. I've just been so busy these past months, it totally hit my mind. I'm acting on the calendar and everything precisely so I wouldn't end up in this situation. And where is your calendar? In my study at home, and I've got one in the office at the yard as well. Ah, I see. Well, it's no wonder you didn't notice them. Oh, what do you think that means? Elementary, my dear Ernest, or elementary, my dear Ernest. The inspector just told us he's been extremely busy, which means he would have had no time for a study, a study at home and probably precious little time in his office as well. He's been out and about. Ah, of course. He hasn't even time to look at his calendar to notice the reminder. Exactly. I haven't been getting back, on, back home until the small, small hours recently, which is another reason I was thinking I better Make an effort this year for her birthday. Well, it's not too late, is it? The day isn't over yet. That's what I thought, Sunshine. So I've been all over the city looking for something for her. But it's Godwin's day, isn't it? Every shop I looked at is closed. I can't buy her a present, and I can't get her a cake. Even the bakers and the like are shut today. I can't get a table at my restaurant either. In fact, this place is about the only establishment I've come across that's open. Well, we're not technically open today, actually. I've got until this evening to come up with something. I'm telling you, I've never seen my little lemon so livid. Gosh, that doesn't leave much time, does it? No, it doesn't. I've been out all day looking for a present, you see. And now here I am, no better off. You've got to help me, cat. Help me find a present for her, please. Yes, I see your predicament, but it's a bank holiday, you know, Inspector. Please, cat. Mm, work on God Wednesday. It's not what a gentleman does. I think we should try to help, miss. After all, there is nothing sadder than a birthday forgotten by someone you love. Oh, I'm pretty sure there are way sadder things, but yeah, let's keep this child friendly. What do you think, Cheryl? Leave me out of this. Well, I suppose, seeing as it's you, Inspector, I can make a special exception. Thank you, you're a lifesaver, cat. It's not exactly detective work, is it? 
It is if I want it to be. Any mystery solved is my motto, you know. The only mystery is how I got you to agree to help. Inspector Hastings, here you are. What is it, Constable? Um, let me see. Oh yes, it says here that there has been a break in the city center. The perpetrator is on the run, apparently. Really? Yes, and he left a note. Um, where is it? Oh yeah, here it is. Catch me if you can, you stupid pigs. Disc, that's the challenge, isn't it? Right, Booker, I'm on my way. You go on ahead to the scene. Yes, sir. A break in? A break in? Oh dear. Work on Godwin's day. What was the thief thinking? Not what you're thinking, that's for sure. Sorry, cat. I have to go down there. Of course, Inspector. You can't ignore blatant goading like that. Sorry. Too right. We haven't worked out anything for the business yet, have we? Leave that little problem with us. And you go and catch the thief, that thief. You can't leave the people of London in the lurch. That's just not you, is it, Inspector? No, it isn't. Thanks, Cat. It's a tough, it's a tough job, but someone's got to do it. Right then, the presence your capable hands. Ah, I accidentally hit the mic. He left her in rather a hurry, didn't he? Yes, and we have to hurry now too. We must come up with something for Inspector Hastings' wife before the end of the day. I'm not sure what we can do to avert disaster there, miss. Are you? We just have to think of a present so wonderful it makes her forget all about the fact that he let, he let it slip his mind. If we can do that, I'm sure he'll be able to smooth things over. The problem is how to find an impressive enough present on a bank holiday. Quite. How do we do that? The inspector said he'd been following the streets since this morning. Well, inaction certainly won't help us find the answer. Let's go out on Chancellor Lane and see what we can find. Ah, you must be the detective, I presume. Oh yes, that's right. Can I help you? We have spoken before, I think. It's Catriel, isn't it? And this must be Ernest with you and Shirley or something, isn't it? Um, who are you? Oh, sorry, I'm Felicity. Felicity Hastings. Yeah? Felicity... Hastings? You mean, your Inspector Hastings' wife? Yes, that's right. He's always telling me how much you've been helping him. Oh, yes, well, we've worked on a number of cases for him now. We're working the right on one right now, aren't we? Haha, <laughs> well, er... Sorry. I mean, my husband has nothing but good things to say about you, I assure you. He thinks you're a very, very talented detective, you know. Oh well, I don't know if I'd say London's best, but... I don't know if anyone would. She certainly didn't. I probably have a unique personality and a knack for solving difficult cases. A unique personality? That means you're barking. Oh yes, and I, I hear you're a genius when it comes to puzzles. This is a good one that I know. Why don't you, why don't you give it a try? <laughs> Birthday brain teaser. Today is a preschooler's birthday. There were some number-shaped candles for the cake to show her age, but they've been dropped on the floor and now they're in pieces. If you arrange three of them together, they should make the right number. Press and hold it to pick the pieces and move. Uh, okay, I think I see the answer right away. Cause I'm okay. I'm kind of seeing two answers here, either eight or nine. Cause here, if we if you put this, can you put this here? No. Oh, it changes. So here, it could be eight or nine. This this line looks a bit weird. Uh, maybe there is a clue here that I'm missing. But first, let's go with the eight that I saw first, because I think that. Yeah, because it looks more natural to me, the eight and the nine. 
Maybe there's some, I'm probably missing some clue here, but yeah, okay, let's go. This is an interesting one. No, it's not. Okay. That's not like me. Uh. Yeah, this doesn't even hurt me anymore. I gotta give up. Uh, so, but then... Okay, so let's try the nine. Mm, this should do it, I think. No. What's the matter with me today? Yeah, no, I'm stumped. Uh, give me a moment. I'll have to think this one through. Thousands of tears later. Oh yeah, I just saw another one. If I put this here, if I put this here, it becomes a three. You are technically correct. The best kind of correct. This is an interesting one. Any mystery or any puzzle solved. You did it, a piece of candle have been put together and they make the number three. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna be 100% honest. I kind of should have seen that because 8 and 9 are probably a bit too high for preschoolers, but still. Well, I can see why my husband calls on your server so frequently. Ah, if only all problems were so easily solved. Oh dear, do you have something in your mind, Mrs. Hastings? As a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I, I do. Jesus, I'm rather down in the dumps today. London can be a very gloomy place when you're not feeling your best. I'm sorry to hear that you're not happy, Felicity. I hope that changes for you soon. Aren't you sweet, Catriel? I don't suppose I could bend, bend your ear, could I? Of course you could. I'd be glad to hear our troubles. It's just that my husband's job is so demanding, you see. I know it's a wonderful thing that he does, and I do support him. But just once in a while, it would be nice if he thought about me a little. You know, it's my birthday today, and because it's a bank holiday, I had hoped we'd be able to spend some time together and celebrate for once. Yes, of course. Birthdays are very important, I think. Of course, I was swimming when I found out he'd forgotten. Then he got all dramatic and said, I'll get you a present if he if it's the last thing I do, and ran off. Well, a present would be nice, but the truth is... Felicity? Sorry, listen to me. I've done nothing but grumble and growls. I thought I could pop out, out to, to the hairdresser and maybe get an ice cream on the way but to home to cheer myself up, but every shit, shit, of course. I suppose I just have to try and forget all about it and go home with my tail between my legs. Well, I don't want to think, take up any more of her time. Thanks for listening. I think what she, all, all she wants is to spend a bit of time with her husband. And, yeah, sometimes that's all there needs. You don't need a present or something grandiose. Sometimes the little things that matter in life. The poor woman is very upset, isn't she? Yes, yeah, Inspector Ace said he said she was angry. But she didn't seem angry to me. Not so much of a bloodhound as a melancholy. Hmm. We, must find, we must find a good present, if not for Inspector Hastings, for Felicity herself. Here, here. I wonder what be, would be good. Yes, we didn't ask for sort of things she likes, did we? I suppose an outfit of some kind or some jewelry would be the obvious choice. There's a sort of thing we might find at the boutique down the road. Why don't you have a look? That's a clue to help. Also, I love that it was already in place, so just quick and it goes. Ah, but first. Ah. Uh, Oh, there is a hint coin! Nice! I thought it wasn't gonna be any. The office, which is supposed to be closed, but okay, whatever. I'm just looking for a hint, potential hint coin. Ah, aha! I knew I was gonna find another one here. Uh... Wait. Oh, is this one another one? Nope. Ah, nope. Darn it, I thought I was gonna find another hint coin here. 
Let's see what you have to say. Wait. My predecessor. Let's see what you have to say. Quiet today, isn't it? Close your eyes and you can almost see the eternal, eternal truth of the world unfolding before you. Really? Ooh, let me try that. No. No, I'm not seeing anything. Just a sort of blackness, really. Yeah, eyelids look like that. To be occupied is a blessing. But you all need quiet times to reflect. Very philosophical of you. Thank you, my uh, weird old man friend, I think. Let's go to the boutique. What a stroke of luck! This little shop being open on Godwin's Day. Or on, eh? Haha! <laughs> that, that must have been why it's called the Lucky Clover. The old lady you often bump into said it had unusual opening times, didn't she? Are you sure it's really open? The woman who, the woman who runs it might, might have been stock taking or something. Well, it's certainly not busting with customers, it's true. Oh look, there's Mrs. Miss Price. The owner over there. Let's go and ask her. But first, hint coins. Ah, I think I found something. Not the same, but hey, sure, that works. I am never gonna understand the, the fashion people go. What's up with the bouffant hats? Uh, maybe not bouffant, but what's up with the oversized hat? Oh, something. Fancy fan. That makes sense considering where we are. Uh, wait, I... Wait, something is here? Keeps popping, but I. Eh, whatever. Let's just talk to you. Hello, Miss Price. Ah, welcome. Feel free to. No, what am I thinking? What do you want? It's unusual to find a shop open on Godwin's Day. It's actually very fortuitous because I'm not open. Oh, oh, but we saw the door was ajar, so we thought. I just came to pick up some things, that's all. I won't be here for long. The shop is closed today. So I won't tell us anything, I mean. I'm sorry, no. I'm on my way somewhere, uh, somewhere actually. Oh dear. Hello, Nix. I was wondering when you're gonna show up. It's a bank holiday after all. No one works on Godwin's Day, do they? I have to ask you to come back at another time. Oh, I see. What a pity. I'm sorry, something is here, but... Ah, whatever. Uh, wait. Let me just see. Yeah, no. Nothing here happened with the recording. Okay. Ah, we've come away empty-handed. I really thought we struck gold when we found a lucky clover open. Just a second, guys. Nix, no. You don't mess with those papers. Here. Either, yeah, stop them. Lay on my lap, please. Does that mean clothes and accessories are off the list of possibilities then? Gosh, what a pickle. Just a second. Here, see. We've embarked on a real hopeless mission here, haven't we? What's our next move? We'll just have to see if we can find another shop that's open. Like where? Well, there are a few other shops around the Chancellor Lane corner. Try, I don't know. That. Yes, it's worth a shot. Let's go and see what's the what. Mm, I almost doubt it, but sure, let's go. So let's see. Are any of these shops open? The restaurant seems to be shut, miss. Mm, yes, everyone wants to take a holiday when they can, I suppose. Is that Lipsky brother over there? Oh yes, perfect! I'll ask to sell us a birthday cake from his tasting. Do you think the patissier is open? Let's go and ask. I honestly doubt it. Because if, if it was open, they probably wouldn't be standing here in the middle of, outside of the shop, would they? Wait. Aha, hint coin. 
Wait, something... There. Wait. Aha, another hint coin. And this is the Big Bang, which I... yeah. Just stuff to talk about. Yeah, I remember finding one there, but yeah, I'd imagine I wouldn't probably, you know, keep it there. Let's what, see what you have to say first. Yeah, it's oh, it's terrific that we don't have to go to school and that, but I wish some shops were open. I was really looking forward to going out and buying some new things. Oh dear, I hope it isn't spooling, spoiling it in the movie spooling. What the hell is spooling? I'm just a bit bored, that's all. So what are you up to? Do you want to do something together? I'm sorry, we're right in the middle of an important errand, actually. Oh, so you haven't got the day off then. What a pity. I mean, we kind of did, but not really. Bratzi, that way will not work. But your way is stupid way. Wow, harsh. Gosh, you seem to have caught them in the middle of an argument. Alex, Hans, what are you quarreling about? Oh, it's you. Good, you came at the right time. We are trying to solve a difficult puzzle. Maybe you can help us, Catriel. Okay, not sure what I have to do with anything, but okay. Piece of cake. Sounds appropriate. The picture you can see a cake in the shape of number six. Oh no. You need to cut the cake in a in a straight line to make two numbers. How could you know it? How could you cut the cake to make the largest possible total if you were to add the two numbers together? What would the total be? So it's not just a case of cutting it, which by the way I can already see it's supposed to be a it reminds you of a B, but you can cut it to make a 1 and a 0, which would make it a 1. But, okay, it's supposed to be a number of 6, right? But it's clearly not. It's more of a B than anything. Six and a half hours later. You know, I wonder, the number 6 is really bugging me, because this is not really a 6. It reminds me more of a, of a B. But if I... oh, What if I turn it to a 9 then? Because I was thinking maybe cut it here to make it a... A 10, but then 1 plus 0 is 1, which is not really high. So what if I ended up... Cut... What if I turn around and cut on this what I'm assuming is a strawberry line here? 9 plus 9 is 18, right? Because yeah, it has to be a double digit number just for the simple fact that... Just for the simple fact that there are two spaces. I don't think they would actually put one if you, they would put two if you wanted to make a one digit number. So hopefully that is. I it. eat puzzles like this for breakfast. I ain't nothing but the hound dog. I was right, nice. I also just saw that apparently the little hat on Cheryl's head also moves alongside him. That's like kind of adorable. You did it? Slicing the cake in half horizontally makes Two copies of the same number. The then turning six around gives you nine. It also gives you far less cake. Or more like if it gives you a far flatter cake. Hmm, spring rolls. Joy, now I'm gonna move for spring rolls. Joy. Ah, now I'm seeing the answer. No, yes, very tricksy. As patissier, you see your cutting cake is not good. It makes me uncomfortable. Yep, thought so. So, what are you both doing here today? No, Bratzi and me, we are going out. Ah, oh, so the patissier isn't open today then. Ah. Try to sound a little a bit louder, Pinstripes. Maybe they didn't hear. And what about the, the Elizabeth Tower? Is there never any maintenance work to carry out on the cocks of Big Bang on Goblin's Day? No, yes, sometimes. But I just all clocks carefully yesterday. Today is no work day. Bratzi and me never have holiday at the same time, so I went from a long time ago to do something together. Well, that sounds lovely. 
No, yes, I'm not sure. I'm thinking about staying at home for Lex instead, but Bratsy wants to go out, so Bratsy so must go out. Sometimes it is nice to just stay in, isn't it? What are you doing today, detective? You want to see us for something? No, yes. We're doing a favor for Inspector Hastings. He's in a bit of a tough spot. No, yes. Careful, cat. It's catching. It's his wife's birthday today, you see. But he's been so busy solving crimes that he hasn't had a, had a present or a cake or anything. No, yes. This man is too busy. Always running around like chicken without head. We are very grateful to Inspector. Maybe there is something we can do to help? Oh, no. We wouldn't want to inconvenience you. You're just on our way out, aren't you? I'm sure we'll manage something, don't worry. Hmm, good luck. Please buy an interesting and fun gift for Inspector's wife. Thank you, we'll do our best. I hope the two of you have a fun evening together. Well, it looks like cake isn't going to happen either, so you'll have to think of something else. I wonder how the Inspector is getting, getting along with the case he was called to, though. Even if you manage to find a president in time, it won't do, do if the inspector himself isn't available. No, that's true. Perhaps we should find him and let him know how we're getting out. How will we find him, though? Do you know where he is, miss? Let's go to Scotland Yard. If he's not there, we can ask somewhere where to find him. Yeah, literally all I have to do is, you know, make the two of them have a free time and spend together the rest of the day together. That would be, okay, not exactly the quote-unquote best gift, but it's a gift uh, A gift from the heart counts far more than one made of, one bot of money. Or so I've been told. So yeah, let's go to Scotland Yard. Also, this bike was not here before. 